Welcome to From AMIA to Armistice, a series of podcasts commissioned by UCL Institute of Education. I'm Simon Bendry, Director of the UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours Programme. In August 2018, students from across the United Kingdom joined students from France, the United States, Canada and Australia on the Western Front to commemorate the Battle of Amiens. This series, recorded largely on location during that battlefield tour, tells the story of the Battle of Amiens in the wider context of the First World War and the road to armistice. In this podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing England on the battlefield tour. Hi, I'm Mason Skull from Fiennes Community Sports College in Stackstead, Lancashire. I came to this place expecting not much, a standard trip, but I found out a lot of effort was put into these trips. I learned a lot from everything around the tours that we did through the last two days. I especially like the John Monash Museum with its interactive areas and its short movie it showed us at the beginning. What struck me in particular was how much anxiety and how scared you must be, how you don't know the next corner you turn, you're gonna die or live. I'm Jack, I'm from England. I've been really looking forward to this trip for a while now and I've enjoyed every minute of it. But I think the main part that I've enjoyed is going around the trenches and seeing the harsh conditions that they had to live in for so many months or years. It was quite horrible, but then fascinating to see. There was explosion sites where you could see where the shells had hit and the destruction that they did cause in the battlefields and how hard it must have been to survive all the way through that. The way the trenches were dug out was quite cool. I thought it was going to be just straight, but it was wavy lines and they were quite far apart. You got some trenches which were dug deep, but then some that were dug really small for the amount of people they could fit in there. The trenches were wavy because if it were in a straight line, it would be easy to kill everybody. But if it's in wavy lines, they've got a bit of cover in the trenches, so they're not going to get shot as badly. I'm Alexandra Harrison and I go to Stowe School. The thing that stuck with me the most during this trip was the statue remembering the horses that took part in the war because I never really thought about that aspect. It also struck me how the soldier is saying goodbye to the wounded horse and the fact that they cared so much for the animals. I didn't think about the effort and the training and the time that went into the horses that had to be ready for war and the loud noises. I also didn't realise how many horses died, which was around four million, I think, by the end of the war. I thought that the statue was beautiful, stunning and very important because no one really thinks about the animals that were involved in the war. When I was at one of the monuments for the missing people, I also saw a book on the animals involved in the war, monkeys and elephants. Elephants were helping move heavy things, which was really interesting for me. I'm Lizzie Marsham and I go to Fiennes Community Sports College. The thing I've enjoyed the most about this trip is learning about the Lancashire Fusiliers and learning about the people that are from the area I'm from and what they did to contribute towards the war. I also enjoyed looking at the different artefacts that were found in the trenches and all the different things they had to have with them and how valuable some things that would seem very little to us, how valuable they were to the soldiers.
My name's Barnaby Pepe. I'm from Stowe School in Buckinghamshire. I really enjoyed the research leading up to this trip. I found out a lot about the war and actually found out from my dad that my great-grandfather wrote a war diary. He had a copy of that which he gave to me and I had to read through that. He was around Amiens at the time of the battle. So that was really nice to find out about some of my relatives and get a bit of my personal history. I also really enjoyed the trip as well, made lots of new friends and enjoyed going around the sites. I think my favourite one was the Sir John Monash Centre. That was really interactive, so I've really enjoyed the trip as a whole. My name's Archie Mayer and I go to a school in Rosendale called Fiennes and I've been fortunate enough to go on this trip. I remember vividly going to the cemetery, remembering those who followed in the song. And there was one particular scene what struck the most. It was a rose in front of an unknown grave. That struck me the most because I didn't originally know what the flower was. It was like showing the life of the unknown next to the dead. So it had a contrasting reflection. Hi, my name is Patrick Cross and I go to Fiends Community Sports College. To get on this trip, I had to take a few pictures around my local area which showed remembrance and what remembrance means today. When I got told this, I thought of one picture and I thought this would be perfect. I went to the local park and I took the picture, but instead of just taking the picture and leaving, I decided to explore the area and explore the pictures. I really found out a lot of stuff like what remembrance actually means. And when I've gone on this trip, all the memorials and all that, it's really helped me understand what remembrance means then and now today. My picture was of this statue, like a fountain, and this statue was in the middle of it. There were like a wall, a very low wall, and it had poppies all around it on the wall and at the back there was all the names of the soldiers from around that area died into World Wars. The statue itself was actually current in both World War I and World War II and it really shows that a lot of local people risked their lives for our freedom. You have been listening to From Amiens to Armistice, a Chrome Radio production for UCL Institute of Education. The producer was Katrina Oliphant, with sound design by Chris Sharp. In our next podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Scotland on the Battlefield Tour.